I think all of my major projects from, let's say, the late 80s to the present have developed out of just sort of being out and looking at things, uh, thinking I'm interested in one thing and then finding a clue that starts my brain going in a different direction. Pictures of Hell is, it's one of three really large sort of epic scale projects that I began in the early 1990s. In a lot of the pictures, you don't see the so-called imprint of human activity. Uh, the human activity I'm interested in there is, is the, the act of the nomination of naming, uh, which I think has a really interesting political dimension to it as well, uh, in part because, of course, most of those places had other names. I mean, they, they had indigenous names for hundreds or thousands of years before. So it says a lot about dominant European attitudes towards both the land and to the people that inhabited it when they showed up. You know, somebody could casually look at those pictures and say, oh, they're just, you know, pictures of nature, you know? So, but that's not my interest. There's a single piece of nine photographs called Nine Bomb Craters. I had a residency that the Center for Land Use Interpretation uh, here in, in Los Angeles uh, sponsored. But the residence itself was at the abandoned Wendover Air Force Base, which is on the border of Utah and Nevada. It's a piece that, that looks forward and backwards to the, both like as typologies finally, uh, but also the, just the, uh, the very particular kind of militarized landscape that also characterizes the American West. There's another larger project called, uh, for shorthand, we I refer to it as Desert Houses. Anyway, they're photographs of abandoned houses in the, in the desert. I developed this sort of secondary project to the house project, uh, which I called Dusk. And basically, they're photographs of not always I, literally the same house, but the same kind of houses that are, uh, of which there are hundreds and hundreds out in the, in the desert. So the pictures are made just after the sun goes below the horizon. So the shadows disappear, but it's not night. And uh, because the atmosphere, the desert atmosphere, edges are, are really, really sharp. I think they sort of underline the sense of isolation that the, that the ruined house exhibits even in, in, in the noonday sun. But there's something very interesting about how they look at that time of day. Regardless of their intentions, almost all photographs grow up to be documentary photographs, you know. Maybe what I've done will be more important to historians that are interested in, say, I don't know, engineering or, you know, westward expansionism than, say, art. My assumption is that they have some sort of information in them that someone might find of use, you know.